Khan. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to you. What a great day. We have some deliciousness we're going to make today in the studio. Yes. A lot of people actually ask me after, you know, salmon video. So salmon head, how I prepare, right? So that's what even, I'm going to do today. Right. The first I'm going to do, take off this one. The, how they call it, kara, right? Right, the color. Yeah. It's, we, we call it kama. But anyway, I'm going to take off this one. <coughs> Look at all the meat in the head. Oh, yes, yes. They have a lot of meat. Yeah. Salmon is very soft. Then you can just cut out the half. And then this one you can serve the salmon kama. It's kind of grilled, right? Yeah, it's grilled. What part of the oven? Right. After you season it? Mm -hmm. Now, I saw you cut right down the bone. Is the bone really not that... Not that, not that. Uh, I'm going to show you the head. This, it, this one is very, very soft. Okay. Let's go through the ingredients here. Yes, of course, my ingredient is a uh, salmon head part. This is from the one, and uh, this is the berry side. I'm gonna use uh, uh, some of the parts piece okay. uh, from berry, and also uh, salmon meat. I'm gonna take some, maybe a half of that. I use this one. Okay. Okay. And the uh, tofu here. And oh, what what tofu is this? The firm, this is a firm one. one. The firm one. Okay. Yes, hard one. Okay. And then we, I have a white miso. And butter here. A little bit weird, right? <laughs> this combination, uh -huh. but I'll tell you later. And soy sauce, meeting, and sake here. Okay. And this one, dashi kobu, and then um, bonito flake. I'm gonna do a uh, ichiban dashi and take a soup stock first. Okay. Okay. That's why. And cabbage, uh, daikon radish, scallion, carrots, onion, shimeji mushroom, and the uh, shiitake mushroom. And then shungiku leaf here. Okay. Okay. So first step, I'm gonna do uh, make uh, ichiban dashi. Okay. Water start to boiling. Okay. I'm gonna take it off cold. Then I'm gonna take one into flake. Okay. Okay. Then fire off. Just wait just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna do a strain out. Okay, this is a uh, ichiban dashi. Ichiban dashi. Okay. Mm. Beautiful. Here are the head parts. Then I'm gonna cut some of the piece from the berry. One, two, three, maybe four pieces is enough. Okay, it's a very nice part. Okay, put it here. And also uh, the nice regular meat side. Also I'm gonna cut. Like that. Okay, mm. kind to of five, that's fine. Okay, good. So now, next step is I'm gonna do uh, put this stuff quickly in the hot water okay. and then put it back to the ice water. And also, after you know, quick putting the bunch, it's uh, easy to remove the uh, scale if you still on it. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. How long do you leave it in the water for? Uh, very quick, very quick, very short. Short like bunch? Yeah, bunch. just like that, like that. Not so long. Okay, so next step, I'm gonna do separate uh, the meat size and the head size. So I'm gonna make a miso soup in here, and the head size I'm gonna cook a little bit uh, inside of the miso soup, make it more soft. Okay, so in this this case, if you are using only for the meat side, you can you can do start quick, but the head is you know, of course you know you need to cook a little bit more longer. So first I'm gonna cook these parts in the miso soup. 
So first I'm going to make a miso soup. Now why do you put through this sifter? Oh, why? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm going to show you. You can do it directly. We can grab the miso in here and you yeah, can yeah. do this I way I see too, a lot of people right? do it that way. Yeah, you can, you can do that too. Yeah. I just do it a little different way. Okay. So if you, you don't want to make sure it dissolves You, you, you want to do this, just skip this way. This, okay? No, but this is just to make sure everything dissolves. Like everything breaks up easier. Yeah, right? it'll break up more easier, I guess. Okay. So how much of miso do you put? Just I think it's uh, almost like uh, five spoon with this one. With this spoon. But I'm gonna check the flavor, so. Okay, I'm gonna quick taste. I'm gonna make uh, this miso soup a little bit stronger than regular miso soup. Mm. This is still a little bit lighter. But anyway, I'm gonna add a little bit of sake here. And a little bit of meeting. Here with soy sauce. This is the best homemade miso soup in the world, huh? <laughs> the world. Chibandashi, right? Real miso. Yeah, it's a real, real. Uh, the real authentic way. Um, Ichibandashi. Yeah. Homemade, homemade. Yeah, Ichibandashi is very important for Japanese cuisine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're using that. Uh, it's a base for many dishes. Yes, yes, many for the basic, so. Mm. For the miso soup, this is perfect. Okay. So now I'm gonna add the head parts in, in the soup. Like this part. Now, how long do you leave it in here while it's boiling? Um, actually, you want the, this part to I, I want to do this one right? almost like uh, almost 90%. Oh, here, I'll turn this over. Oh, look at the eyeball. Oh. Can I have the eyeball? Yeah, you can, you can have it. My sister used to fight for eyeballs all the time. Really? Oh, yeah, when we were younger. <laughs> Sorry, so about, um, you want to cook Yeah, I'm going to cook 90%. 90%, so. And then what after that? After that, I'm going to remove to the, this pot. Okay. So while I'm cooking this one, I'm going to cut to the vegetable. So this one just helps cook it thoroughly. Right, because of the, the part is a little And that part, yeah, you have some. Yeah, uh, after cook, this part's going to be very, very good. Yeah, the soft part. Mm -hmm. I really like it. So while the uh, head of pot is cooking, I'm going to set up the old vegetable in, in this pot. I'm just going to go this way. People call this OCD here. OCD? Yeah. OCD. So when you get to <laughs> when everything has to be very organized and you can't be messy. Oh. It's OCD. The, you mean the pass on the character? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I'm not really like that, you know. But when I'm you open up the cabinets, everything is in one way. Everything is organized. Ah, I, the I do. Just, a, just a, for, I think that, that looks nice, right? Yeah. So that's why I do. Like, look at your countertop. Yeah, you, you can see the Marika. Everything's yeah, yeah. uh, uh, coming to in the center. This one. 
you have OCD. <laughs> is, is that called that? Yeah. And especially car also. I, I, I want to always car is clean. Car, you know? Yeah. The windows, bodies, no print, uh, fingerprint. A lot. Yeah. OCD? OCD. Okay. Okay, diary of the uh, master OCD. <laughs> It's like disorder. Mm. That means there's something wrong with you, hero. Mm? You have a organizational disorder. Is is not good? <laughs> or good? <laughs> Look, I'm I'm not like this when I cook. Everything just goes in the pot. Oh. Yeah, it, it's gonna be uh, everything mixed up, but. Uh, and then the funny thing is, a lot of you don't know that, but when hero eats chicken wings, he puts all the wings, like all the bones, together, like really organized. Once he's done eating the flats. The chicken wings, the bones. Oh, the, that's on the plate. Yeah, yeah. I just put the, the. Yeah, yeah. You put it really nice. It's like that's OCD, hero. OCD. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Have you ever watch hero eat chicken wings? OCD. Okay. OCD. This is not really scallion, though, right? This is the same family. Yeah, same family, but a little bit different. Okay, next one is a tofu. Actually, as a chef, especially a sushi chef, mm. you need to be OCD, which is obsessive compulsive disorder. Everything's got to be in order. Uh -huh. You have to wash your hands all the time. That might be just a germaphobe, but as a sushi chef, you must be this way, right? Organized all the time? Yeah, it's, it must be clean, I think clean. In any profession, especially with chef cooking wise OCD no o OCD okay shiitake mushroom let's just go up in here here Betty side okay, this is good. okay so head the parts I'm gonna remove it to uh, in the pot right now so Oh, there's my eyeball here. Uh, yeah, this is a my eyeball. And I'm gonna add the miso soup into this pot. Okay, so add the miso soup. The miso soup, this miso soup already a lot of salmon. Wow. Uh, Let me tell you, but this is a whole meal by itself. Like that. And this and is the healthiest it gets, hero. Hmm? This is, you can't get healthier than this. <laughs> Full of nutrients, look. Yeah. Oh uh, my uh, goodness. Oh, your side, right? this way. I'm not a huge miso okay. fan or fish head fan, but look at this. Mm. I'm a fan of this. Looks so, so good. Okay, then now I'm going to fully cook this one. Everything. Fully cook. Now, how long do you leave it here for? Uh, you have to see probably 10 minutes. It should be just down. Maybe, maybe a little bit. 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Quickly. And just let it boil, right? And yeah. just keep it nice. Oh, this is stuff. Uh, Getting soft, that, that's what I do. Okay. Yeah. And you cover it too? Yes, I do. I do. I do. I okay. Do, I do. I do. All right. Just cover up this right now. So now I'm going to add the butter. And the shungiku. And cover up. That's it. How much longer now here? I think now is another one minute. That's it. Just a minute? That's it? Yes. Okay. Everything is already cooked already. Okay. Okay, everything is ready. Let's open up the cover. Like this. Yes. This is not a soup, hero. This is a meal. Honestly, take a look at this. 
all your vegetables, all your protein. Mm -hmm. I am so looking forward to this. To try. Beautiful, beautiful dish. Ishikari Nabe style. So, so nice, Hiro. That's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Well, that's great. Can't wait to try, Hero. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much. Guys, like this video at home, give it a thumbs up, comment below, share. Don't forget to subscribe and tell us is this a meal or a soup? I don't even uh, know. Between. Between, right? Mm -hmm. Looks amazing. Thank you, Hero. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, Hero san, yes. to the tasting part. Yes. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's enjoy this. Okay. So, take some parts of the parts. Head. And then, a little cabbage. A little daikon radish. Mm -hmm. Some carrots. And here's a potato. And you can take the tofu. And some, some of the meat parts. Then, is there a belly in there? Can you give me uh, some? Belly is yeah, in here. So then I'll add the soup. You guys gotta try this at home. The vegetables, if you can't find the exact same vegetables like the daikon radish or something, mm. just stay with what you have. The potato, onions, whatever you, whatever you want. Right, right. It's and I'm gonna put a little bit of shindiku. That looks like arugula yeah, too. Like that. Then, uh, it, this is option. If you like it, okay. you can put a little bit of ichimi. That's it. Okay, mm. let's go. Mm. And the header parts, this one. So soft. Yeah, that. people love that part. It's almost like cartilage. Mm. This is a uh, piece soft. Mm. Mm. Good, huh? Very good. Delicious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it. Get the tofu in there. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, you can make me a plate here. I'm gonna use your chopstick. This is a baby. So we need to side. Yeah, this is not. Oh, it's not a baby. And of course, you need to see this head of parts. You can eat the vegetable later, yeah. so you can taste it. Okay. Try the salmon first. Mm, very sorry. Mmm. Wow. It's it good. Mmm. Mm. I think it's so soft, the belly. I mean, soft to begin with, but super soft. I love the flavor. Mm. Never miss the salmon flavor at all. Very, very good flavor. But this, the way it's cooked like this, you know, the fat just kind of melts. A little skin here. Oh my God, I love salmon belly to begin mm. with, but it's a whole nother level to enjoy. Mm. Mm. I love the skin too, but the, the salmon belly. The skin size is good too, right? So good. Let's try this part. This is like part of the salmon head, I guess. And it's also really soft. You kind of thought the boiling water just the soup just melts. Hmm. It's like a gelatin. Gelatin. It's like gel right? Yeah, some kind of gelatin. Maybe I show you that. It's part of the head. But really, really good. Mm. These spots. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This one. Mine's in the beef tendon, you know? It's got that yeah, texture. Like that. Mm -hmm. 
You know, some people need that beat of tendon. Mm. Really good, right? Try some of the soup. Wow, the soup here. Try the soup. So super good, right? Of course. Mm. Whole another level. <laughs> The miso flavor is not as strong as if you would have miso soup. Mm. It's more, um, uh, I don't want to say calm, but it's not as strong. More smooth, I would say. More smooth? Yeah, more smooth. The soup is fantastic. Well, let me tell you what. I hope, I hope, I hope you guys can try this at home. Mm. You can find it at Frost Salmon. You can find it at BackerFrostShop.com. They're giving 20% off until the end of the year. Mm. And uh, we'll be ordering some soon. Hero, thank you so much. Thank you very much. See you next time.